what's up guys in this video we're going to be going over some short-term and long-term plans on what's next for the channel you might already notice some things that are already different like me showing my face which I never really did before just because mainly I didn't really care and also I didn't have a good enough camera to really like do it I would just have my phone and then I also couldn't really see what was in frame or anything like that and I recently just got a new camera which I'm recording this video on it is a Canon M50 uh, EOS M50 Mark II which I got for almost half off pretty much and it came with a lens and I figured I'd just buy it and use it for YouTube and kind of make my content a little bit higher quality and that's kind of what I'm going over in this video is just the plans for the channel and what's going to be happening in the future and uh, just everything with both cars and uh, the channel in general. I wanted to make the channel a little bit more personable so that's why I'm going to try to start showing my face kind of doing more vlog type stuff and then also you know the same uh, install and how-to videos that I normally do but I'm just going to try to up the quality of the channel because I don't want this to just be like a side thing I do just kind of pump out a video every week just depending on whatever I have and just get something out no matter what it is I'm going to try to start putting more effort into the videos and making them higher quality because right now I do make a little bit of money off of YouTube and you know my channels like it's a good size I'm, I'm pretty proud of how the channel's grown in the past few years but I would like to um, have it be a lot bigger one day and be able to make a lot more money off of it to be able to put back in the channel to uh, do some cool builds because this car here is uh, kind of topping out on everything I can really do with it uh, which I will get into that later in this video so uh, stay tuned for what's next for this car and then also we have the Lexus over there which is sitting on drift spares currently because I'm about to go drifting and make a drifting video with it which should be out um, after this video and then that is my dad's CTS V Sport, which not many people know about those, and that car is really cool. So uh, if anyone is interested, I can make a video on that car. Um, but as far as the Focus goes, uh, I do have more plans with it, uh, along with this channel um, being, I guess, revamped is what I'll call it. I'm going to try to put more effort into the thumbnails. Uh, I've already switched my profile picture and channel art to some higher quality pictures I took that I think are just a little bit better, but I'm probably gonna redo those uh, with this camera and get some uh, nice looking ones. I don't really know how the microphone quality is on this yet, but uh, I will probably get a nicer microphone to get the audio quality to be higher too. I don't know if I've ever talked about it in a video before, but ever since I was a kid, I've wanted to do, do YouTube, and when I was little, I used to make like little fake YouTube videos and things, even with cars. So this is pretty much what I've been uh, wanting to do for a long time, and I love making videos about cars. I just feel like when I do stuff, like I just want to record it, because that's like part of the fun. So with all the future cars I have and this car, which really I don't ever want to sell, but we'll see what happens. Um, I do have big plans for the future. Um, as far as the near future goes, I'll probably start with that, is in a month I will be going to college, which is kind of going to hinder the channel a little bit because I am doing mechanical engineering and that is a very intensive degree, which hopefully will pay off one day for the channel and car stuff and uh, just life in general. But for the next four years, I will be pretty busy, so I'm probably not going to be able to do weekly videos like I have been, which I've never really advertised that much that I get a video out every week, but I do. For the past few years, I've uploaded um, one video every week on Saturday at like 9 or 10 in the morning uh, for my time, but uh, that's probably going to have to change. I'm going to try to do one video every other week and make it a nice edited video recorded on this camera and put a little bit more effort into it, which having that extra time will help me do that, but also I'm running out of ideas, so I don't really know what to record unless I'm installing a new part or going to some sort of event, which tomorrow I'm going to a really cool cruise and an event at a local racetrack, which will be uploaded after this video. Uh, but that is going to be really cool. And uh, if you have any video ideas, please leave them down in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see with uh, this car or the Lexus there. I thought I about uh, doing like a Q&A video or something like that. But if anyone has any video ideas, please drop them in the comments. I would be happy to make them 
if it's uh, actually worth making uh, because I'm running out of things to do. But I do have some big plans for the Focus in the future. Um, I don't know. It depends what happens with the Lexus. If I sell the Lexus, uh, I might be able to do a few of them sooner than later. But uh, we'll see what happens with that. I've kind of decided since this was my first car and it's what I started the channel with and I'm really attached to it and I basically learned everything on it. I don't really want to sell it. I was kind of get like considering maybe selling it uh, in a few months or something a while ago but uh, now I'm pretty much against that and I've just decided that I'm going to make it as nice as possible because there are some places where I've taken shortcuts and I don't really know if you can see it on camera. You probably can't but you can see some things like there's that scratch there. And then uh, this clear coat is coming off of my bumper because it's been rattle canned because the previous owner messed it up and then I just kept rattle canning it. That was a bad idea. So the first thing that I'm going to fix is the paint. So I'm going to go get a paint quote later this week and uh, get it repainted. I'm not really going to make a video on that because um, that's not really something I would make a video about because I'm having a professional do it. But aside from that, this car is on Raceland Ultimo Coilovers which actually have not been that bad as everybody says, but I want to replace them for a nice set of coilovers that will be better for performance driving. So I'm going to get a set of Fortune Auto 500 coilovers, which is one of the best uh, sets of coilovers you can get. So I'm going to be getting those and putting them on this car. There'll be a video, uh, a couple of videos on that. And uh, then after that, those are probably the, be the two first things I'll do. And then the big thing that I want to finish this car off, which will pretty much be one of the last things I do other than just small things, um, is going big turbo. I've researched it. It's really expensive. I don't really even know if it's worth it, but I figured I kind of have to do it. I've kind of, kind of already decided on a turbo. It's like the most expensive option, but I feel like it'll be worth it. Uh, for the Garrett G25 550 because it sounds like a jet whenever you start the car up and it also has a really loud spool noise. It's better than the GTX uh, 2867 R Gen 2 which is what most people uh, put on these cars, probably the most popular one. And those are a lot cheaper. They're pretty much near half the price of the G25 550 because that needs an external wastegate which I really want external wastegate noises on this car. So uh, that's kind of why I went with that turbo uh, as my uh, temporary decision, even though I'm not necessarily buying it uh, really anytime soon. But uh, that is in the plan uh, later for this car. But as far as cars goes, I really don't know how this how that's going to work with the channel. So I'm just going to kind of update you guys as uh, I go. I'm going to try to make it a little bit more personal because... Um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Adam LZ, which pretty much what he does now, aside from like the professional drifting uh, aspect of things, is what I always wanted uh, to do with the YouTube channels, you know, just buy a bunch of different cars, build them on the channel, and then have a property where I'm able to like test them and drive them, a shop and all of that, which uh, it's just going to sound like I'm copying him now because he's basically stolen all my ideas I had as a kid which sounds silly to say, but it's true. I always wanted to get some sort of property and then just build like a huge concrete pad so I can just like drift and do whatever I want with cars, have like a dirt track. So that is like way far off in the future. I don't know how uh, soon that's gonna happen. I have been investing in things like that, trying to play my money smart. So hopefully it can be sooner than later. But uh, near plans for the future, videos are gonna be cut down a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna try to make them higher quality, just make the channel higher quality in general, try to get more subscribers and viewers so I can uh, up the monetary aspect of it a little bit, which will help a lot because that money normally just goes right back into the channel for uh, car parts and whatnot, which all go into videos. But really, aside from that, I don't really uh, know much else right now. I was kind of just going to see how the future goes. I definitely want to stick with YouTube and make this channel big one day. I really want to get into drifting, so that kind of would take the place of big turbo would be buying another car and turning it into a drift car which is what i wanted to trade the lexus here for i wanted to trade it for a drift car i have i've had it on facebook marketplace i've got a few decent trades a lot of things that aren't even worth 50 bucks so uh i'm gonna probably just keep this for now while the focus gets painted and i'll drive this while it's getting painted i don't know how long that'll take uh, but 
I'll have this, probably going to try to make a few more videos with it, and then I'm probably going to have to sell it, unfortunately. Um, I absolutely love this car. I definitely am going to buy another one one day, but with moving to college, I am only allowed to park one car there in the school parking lot, which kind of sucks, so... I don't really know how I would manage having two cars there anyways, but until I can get a house or an apartment with some uh, better a better parking situation, I'm probably going to have to sell this and only keep the Focus as my only car. But I definitely do want another car, looking for a real wheel drive uh, manual car uh, sometime in the future so that I can build a drift car because that is high on my to-do list. But I feel like I've been rambling for most of this video, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, Kind of just letting you guys know what's going on with the channel so when you see these differences with the new camera me going to college showing my face stuff like that everyone's kind of up to date on what's going on i know most people don't care but i do plan on making this channel um a little bit bigger of a deal uh i've just been recording everything on my phone if you can't tell it's all recorded on my phone thumbnails edit on my phone uh, i do edit it on my computer but uh the goal is to just make everything a higher level of quality, but it's also just going to be harder with uh, going to college that's an hour away from home. So if I need to work on my cars, I'm pretty much going to have to come home because there's really no place to do it there until I get a house and I'm able to relocate everything. But uh, that is pretty much it for this video. Please like and subscribe and uh, leave any comments on your thoughts. If you have any ideas for me, I'd love to hear it. But uh, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.